Heavy fighting continued today near Europe's largest nuclear power plant in a Russian-backed area of eastern Ukraine. This one day after experts from UN's nuclear watchdog expressed concern about structural damage to the facility. Jay Gray has more from Ukraine. Hey there, and look, inspectors have spent a full 24 hours now inside that nuclear plant, though there's still questions about what exactly they've seen to this point. Ukraine's state nuclear company says that the International Atomic Energy Agency team was blocked from entering the plant's crisis center because, they say, it's where Russian troops have taken up camp. Officials also worry the group will not be able to make an impartial assessment of the situation with Russian soldiers escorting the team around and interviewing Ukrainian citizens, employees who have been held there to continue to keep the plant working. And, uh, there are a lot of concerns uh, after the area has seen very intense shelling over the last uh, several weeks, both sides blaming each other for that, uh, that there could be some significant damage at the plant. Here's what's happening right now. The team will remain in place at least through Saturday. There have been indications that some of those investigators will leave either Sunday or Monday. But now we are hearing that there could be a full-time presence inside the plant to kind of assess what's going on and to make sure that a risk assessment is always in place there. And so that's just part of the concern, the frustration, and really fear for those that live in the area surrounding that nuclear plant. That's the latest from here in Dnipro. Jay Gray, NBC News.